Bingo! 10 o'clock rock on a Friday. <laughs> Look at this nice, cozy room we're in. It's so wonderful to be here with you, Emmett White. Well, thank you, Jay. Janelle Hanbo, great thank to be you. with you. This is our uh, Aging with Grace program on Friday. And um, we're talking about aging at home today. We're talking about Arcadia at home. We're talking about staying at home and making the best of life there. That's what we're talking about today. So the first thing is, um, in Arcadia, uh, you have a program for this. It's like, it's like virtual incubation at, at H HTDC, except it's at Arcadia. Tell me how that works. <laughs> well, what we've decided is one of our seven companies, and the last company we've incorporated, was to meet the need of what we see now and in the future, the most important aspect of serving seniors. And that is, they want to stay at home. Now, what can they do to stay at home and still have the comfort and the knowledge that if there's a problem, the support, they can, they are going to be uh, helped. Yeah. And what Arcadia has done is pull it all together and we're able to provide services in the, in the home. But what's more important is that those who choose to become members of Arcadia at Home have a life care agreement with us and stay at home, but they have, they have the run of the mill. They're able to come and participate in programs or we bring programs to the home. They're also able to get the food when they need it. And of course, more important, if uh, an episode occurs where they need some nursing care uh, or uh, dementia or Alzheimer's sets. You're there for them. They, they, were, can, move they, they can move into our uh, skilled That's nursing. That's a great program. No and, kidding. Uh, I think a second part of your program, you're going to feature two of our settlers that have been with us over a year, the Freelings, and they just represent the epitome of what we, what we hope to accomplish, what we think we're accomplishing, and how they take us into the future and the whole community. Why do seniors, these seniors anyway, why do they want to stay at home? Well, what all the studies have shown over all the years that we've done our... Uh, you know, had the advice from uh, a lot of smart people, is that at least 50, 60 percent, sometimes 70, 80 percent say, I want to stay at home, I want to die at home. And that's, that's fine. The question is, how can you do it aging gracefully and uh, taking care of the inevitable problems that crop up that you know could happen, but for most of us, it's never going to happen to us <laughs> until it does. Not close to that, yeah. <laughs> but but this is this is the the gestation of the idea that okay, let's figure out how we can have a continuing care retirement community without walls. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Did you have that idea? A lot of people have had that idea. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> you're following a good crowd then. Right. So uh, you know the other thing that's inherent in what you said, Evan, and I just like to dwell on it for a minute is that is that people need to stay active if not physically active that's nice but also mentally active yes. and you mentioned that they can participate in arcadia programs mm -hmm. come down and join the, the crowd and i you know uh, i've had relatives on the east coast where they they had more education more engagement with the arts yes. more productive time uh, in retirement than they did in their <laughs> In their earlier years <laughs> you're right and that keeps you alive it keeps you healthy it makes you live longer and happier no? well that you've, you've hit all the elements that you strive for day by day yeah and and with arcadia at home uh they're just a tap away uh a phone call away or um we'll come and pick you up away <laughs> well wonderful <laughs> let's turn to you janelle janelle hanbo you manage this program right yes okay is it true that uh, older people are smarter I think so. <laughs> I like to believe so. How does that work? Where, where can I sign up for that? <laughs> and you and me both, right? We Arcadia at home. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about how you engage in the program. So basically, what I am is I'm um, the member services manager for our members. Um, and it's, it's kind of like care coordination. So whatever, they, whatever their needs are, they give me a call and I help provide that to them, whether it's going into the communities, being involved in the programs, whether it's having services come to them. If they want housekeepers, if they need meals, if they actually need care, we, we manage that. And so we some more, them. some less? Yep. It's for, for, uh, you know, to each according to his requirement. Yeah, sort of and things change. Yeah. You know, as their needs change, so do the services change. Yeah, yeah. And so we're able to do all those things. Well, I mean, one could make the, uh, the conclusion here, talking to Emmett and you, that this is better 
than moving into Arcadia in the first place. What do you think? That it's a possible conclusion, and we don't discount it. Uh, what we have found uh, in the year, year and a half we've been doing it, is that because we have the family of companies, the synergy by between and among those companies really creates a, a positive environment for seniors that are looking for the best thing for them, as Janelle said at the moment, because things change, we find people saying, well, yeah, maybe I won't go to Arcadia, maybe I'll go to Craigside, or well, maybe I'll try at home. But what we find, and, and, and this I, I can attest to, uh, and I'll talk about entrance fees in a minute, but the fact is, you have two loving spouses that have been together for 50, 60, 70 years, and then one of them's lost or passed. And what the, the wake-up call comes, what am I doing rumbling around in this four-bedroom house, two floors, three floors, and I don't have the companionship I want, or I, you know, it takes mm -hmm. a little more effort. So the possibility then is come on into Arcadia, or by, it, it, it's that kind of situation. Uh, each person has a different way. Some would, would, would like that. Others would say, I'd like to try, try this. And we've had in the last year and a half that kind of synergy developing. So it's to each his own, but you've got a, an array of uh, possibilities that are very attractive uh, as life takes you along yeah. to uh, the end. Yeah, you have it your own way. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's what it is. Well, you know, something you mentioned really uh, uh, opens the door for me, and that is... Hmm. Somebody's calling. <laughs> it opens the door for me, and that is the, the need for social, you know, social contact. Mm -hmm. Now, if you move into Arcadia or, or any senior facility, mm -hmm. uh, you get that. Mm -hmm. And depending on the facility, it can be a very rich experience, make your life worth living, mm -hmm. to you know, develop old friends. I mean, old friends. It's not it's like old friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> develop old friends. Friends of oldness. Old right. <laughs> And, and um, you know, I mean, have a daily life which involves, you know, human contact. Mm -hmm. To me, this is uh, as important as the whole notion of staying engaged in the community and, mm -hmm. you know, having activities. Maybe it's, maybe it's part of the same bailiwick. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I certainly agree that if you are with your spouse, uh, you have a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are not with your spouse and you're bumbling around alone in your unit, um, you know, you are at, at greater risk physically mm -hmm. uh, and health-wise. Yep. Um, you need all those alarm systems in case mm -hmm. something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but if you, you know, at that point, it would be a good time to consider uh, coming into a, you know, a live-in facility. No? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, it is true. But one of the things that, that Janelle focuses on with our single members is uh, they have a life they're leading, and we, we're in contact with them daily, or more than daily. Uh, to, to check up, but, but it's not so much, you know, check in and, you know, what's your, what's your number and it's, et cetera. It's how are things going? What can we do? What are you involved in? And that communication in and of itself begins to set uh, a, a system that uh, the person begins to rely on mm -hmm. and realizes that, yeah, they can tune in the TV and, and if, if we've got it hooked up, they can bounce with Betty when we're bouncing with Betty down at Arcadia for range of motion exercises. Well, watch Think Tech uh, program. Well, well they, will, they will be. <laughs> <laughs> we're putting it on right away. But it is those things. And I, I must tell you, Jay, you know, not to pander too much to you, but the fact that uh, the last couple of shows that we've done together, uh, we've had dozens and dozens of people view it and really like what they see. Yeah. Because the word, as it gets out in the community, is obviously good for business, but it's all more important that the, that the community itself begins to see what it is to age, and with a quarter of the population going to be 65 and older, you know, in a few years, that's important, that they, they're able to talk about it, and they've got options, and, and they're able to talk to us. And there's, yeah, there's somebody like Janelle who cares about them. Yep. You know, even if they don't talk to you every minute of every day, mm -hmm. they know that you're out there thinking yes. about them, watching out for them, mm -hmm. and you're there for them if anything goes wrong. So, uh, gee, I mean, I, but this, this sounds like you're at the phone a lot. <laughs> it sounds like you, you have a lot of people that you have to think about, yes. care about, and, and help. Mm -hmm. how, how does that work on your day? Sometimes it's a telephone call, sometimes it's a visit. Um, but it's, it's definitely building a relationship so that they can feel comfortable, you know, yeah. because we're making decisions about their life. Mm 
yeah. what do they want to do? We're planning yeah. for the future, for yeah. their future. Yeah. You know, and so it's very eye-opening for myself, for them, and we have to have that type of relationship where we can trust each other and know yeah. that they can call at any time. Any that's time. great. I really, that's very important mm -hmm. to know there's somebody there at the other end. Well, when you, know, you talk to Aurora, ask her about the handsome wellness trainer. Let me write that down. <laughs> The handsome wellness one? Yeah, well, trainer. trainer. Okay, uh-oh. You, you got to know that Janelle's not the only voice. Yeah. Right. Does Royal know about this? Does yes. Royal know about this? He's, he does. He's, he's very aware. We're going to be exploring that. He, he trains too. <laughs> But so, that, it's that it's that kind of uh, it's that kind of, of virus that really takes off. It's just it's a good feeling and uh, keeps people. I should say that the funny story that I could share is, uh, you, know, you know, you know, Betty. Of all the years we've known each other, and Betty and I've been together for forty six years, and. Uh, the, the story with the kids was always, yeah, we'll put dad in, don't worry, Ma will take care of you. <laughs> so I, okay, okay. But one night in a more serious mode, I said, hey, Betty, if we had this uh, at-home concept, and she understands it, I, I said, would you consider staying with me for another 50 years? There was a pregnant pause, and then she said, yeah. All right. So, so the concept is is something that I think that people talk about. And what I wanted to mention is on the entrance fees for, for a couple right yeah. now, it's, it's 90000 Now, if you take a look at the entrance fees for Craigside, Arcadia, Kahala Nui, any, any place that has an entrance fee, that's like a quarter or less. But what it does, it, it, it gives a person the, the promise of life care, a contractual life care understanding. And really at the end or in the middle, whenever that episode hits that, that is a struggle, to know that that's there is one, comforting not only to the individual, but to the family and to the friends. Sure. And that, that to me is what we really strive for. So you, you, you put that money down and then you sort of join this uh, you, jo you, you, you are a member of Arcadia at home. home. <clears throat> now, if the episode or when the episode happens, this case maybe, um, and you move into Arcadia, what happens? Is well, there another the, payment then? No, no. The, 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 it's all taken care of. They come into long-term care, but they come in at the, at, at the rate that, the, that, a, that a member or a resident uh, pays who's paid an entrance fee. It also gives the, the individual who has the episode but says, well, I, you know, I don't want to stay in long-term care. I don't need to stay in long-term mm -hmm. care, but I don't really want to go back to this huge house. And so the option is then to... Uh, get a discount because we'll apply a portion, uh, you know, essentially what has been paid uh, for the um, entry fee to the membership. So the charge would not be so the it's same not as, as high. if they moved in fresh. Correct. They, they get a reduction they get because a reduction. they were already a member. Yep. Yeah, cool. But so there's I'm also a, the beauty of, let's say an event happens, but you just need a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. So you can have the beauty of coming to one of our healthcare centers and staying there for a little short stay and Re go recovery. back. Go back home. She's very nice. She's that's very smart too. <laughs> that's smart. That's why I figured between she you and me, we are old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> so I have a question of scalability. You know, right now you can handle X number of people on this virtual program, on mm -hmm. this uh, aging, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. aging at home program. Um, but there comes a time when Janelle can't handle all of that, mm -hmm. when Arcadia can't handle all of that, when and when. Uh, you have so many people in the pipeline that when they get to the point where they want to move in, you can't accommodate them. So mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you control the numbers so this all works long term? Well, the business plan uh, for Arcadia at Home called for, as uh, eventually matures, about 150 members. Out of that, you're going to see about 10%, which is common whether it's an Arcadia population or Craigside population, about 10% of that 150 are going to need long-term care. They're going to have to come in. Uh, Arcadia, over the last 15 years, we've planned to, and we've increased our ability to nearly 100 beds, where our average folk that are living at, the uh, number of people that are living in Arcadia, 50, 55. So we have the beds that we would need uh, to, to accommodate the, the members. but. Your, aunt, your question about how many, we, we figure 20 to 25 per service manager, and we would end up with about five service managers mm -hmm. uh, working in, in, in tandem. And I'll tell you, this may be pie in the sky, Jay, but you know we go back a lot of years, and my thinking is if, 
if the community sees how this is working over the next decade plus, that there are going to be others that might try to uh, do the similar stuff. They're going to copy you. And that's okay. I think that's what's going to happen. And that's okay because <laughs> that's what you look for. There, there's just not enough to take care of. Uh, take care of the crop mm -hmm. <laughs> and what what we need to do is continue to to have that attitude of what can we do for the best quality of life for for those who are living longer and and aging mm -hmm. with grace right we've got to do that for them they and, and are for entitled. every one of us yeah okay um chanel i'm going to let you close because we have to go to our break now i'd like you to look at camera one and, and give your thoughts now to everybody and tell them what they should remember about the discussion with you and Emma. Well, Arcadia at Home is such a great program for anybody who really wants to have a plan for their future um, with the backing of Arcadia Family of Companies. Thank you, Emmett. Thank you, Janelle. We're gonna, Thank you. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk to the Freelings. I'm so excited I can hardly breathe. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Aloha. My name is Josh Green. I serve as senator from the Big Island on the Kona side, and I'm also an emergency room physician. My program here on ThinkTech is called Healthcare in Hawaii. I'll have guests that should be interesting to you twice a month. We'll talk about issues that range from mental health care to drug addiction to our health care system and any challenges that we face here in Hawaii. We hope you'll join us. Again, thanks for supporting ThinkTech. For a very healthy summer, watch Viva Hawaii. We're giving you the best tips and with our best health coach here. So, viva health coach. Viva la comida saludable. Hi, I'm Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist here in Hawaii, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, which is on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. Have a great summer. Take care of your mental health. You're watching SyncTech Hawaii on SyncTechHawaii.com, which broadcasts six live talk shows from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. every weekday, and then streams earlier shows all night long. Great content for Hawaii from SyncTech. Aloha. My name is John Waihe, and I actually had a small part to do with what's happening today. Served actually in public office. But if you don't already know that, here's a chance to learn more about what's happening in our state by joining me for Talk Story with John Waihe every other Monday. Thank you, and I look forward to your seeing us in the future. Aloha, I'm Chantel Seville, host of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. This show is for you. It's all about inspiring and empowering girls of the future to do what they love, get out there and be healthy, fit and confident. If you're up for that, 11 a.m. every Wednesday, I'll see you there. We're back. We're live. I'm so excited. Now we have sort of the product of Emmett's mm -hmm. efforts mm -hmm. and the product of Janelle's efforts. Yes, and we have uh, Dr. Royal um, uh, Freeling and his wife. Uh, Mrs. Aurora Freeling, and they are, they are not residents at Arcadia, they are residents in the program of Aging in Grace, Aging, aging at Home. So I want to know how that works, how Please you like stay, it. Please say that over again, because that needs to be emphasized. Okay, I will. <laughs> aging with Grace, Aging at Home. It's kind right, of the same thing. Right. Arcadia at Home, great right. program. I, I think this is the, really the, the sign of the future. You guys like it. Why do you like it? Because we're at home. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, the, the reason why we bought the home that we're living in, and we've lived in for 43 years, the reasons are the same as they were then, now. And um, we're, we're in Manoa Valley. We've got all the amenities of Manoa. We're close to town, everything else. She doesn't drive, the bus goes by every 20 minutes. I mean, it's, it's, it's just perfect. But the time may come when we need something, something more, like guaranteed nursing care, for example. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, uh, Arcadia at Home guarantees us. Yeah, so that's why. That's the that's why you're in the program. Yes. Right. That's, that's uh, right. Do you call Janelle every, every, every few hours, minutes, just seconds? About. <laughs> <laughs> and then our children are all on the mainland too. Uh -huh. So if something happens to us, um, Janelle is there. Janelle is there, right? Okay. We, we, do, we don't have uh, 
uh, our kids saying, gee, mom and dad, they're having problems. How are we going to get out to Hawaii and so forth? So where does the role of uh, the electronic alarm systems, is it, do you have them, do you need them, do you not need them, what do you think oh, about them? forgot to bring. You know, I forgot to bring our, our little uh, alarm system, but we, we do have it, and uh, I do lots of walking in the evening and so forth, and take it with me, and um, it's a kind of a GPS, too, it, it oh. pinpoints exactly where you are, so you can talk to someone, but they can also know exactly where you are. And <clears throat> when she was on the mainland? I, I, when I was on the mainland, I was in Washington, D.C., and I pushed that button and I said, they said, is this an emergency? And I said, no, I'm testing. I'm traveling from Honolulu. I think they're getting tired of these tests. But <laughs> <laughs> and then so my host, I, they said, so I said, can you tell me where I'm located? And he s gave an address, and then my host said, oh! That's our boulevard, because they lived in a series of town townhouses. And so, that's our boulevard. So then when I was in Seattle visiting our children, I said, okay, everybody, show and tell. And I pushed the button. Is this an emergency? I said, no, I'm just traveling. I'm testing. <laughs> and then, um, can you give your address? And he gave me the exact address of our son's home. So that's, that's if impressive. anything happens, you know, they'll get the ambulance or the police or whatever, yeah. and then they're wired into Arcadia, and Arcadia knows also. Ah, good thing. Yes. Perfect. So you have a whole support system. Definitely. Very high tech, very accurate. And, I, it's, I, and it's waterproof, too. So if you <laughs> fall down in the bathtub, can't get out, there it is. So when you say fall down, is it sort of have a shock sensor oh, where if it falls little, down, yeah. you know, it'll, it'll yeah. call? Probably, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, I need to know the manufacturer because this sounds like it's a real success, this project, this program, I mean this, uh, yeah. this device. And it's called Great Call, and you see it on the art magazine. Great Call? Great Call. Great Call. Great Call. Great call. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good to know about that. And that's paid for as part of part our service. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So until you got <clears throat> into the, how long ago did you get into the program? Well, we, Royal responded to a survey, just an unsolicited questionnaire uh -huh. and then we went to the orientation and we found out and then there was a time period where they vetted us <laughs> <laughs> top to bottom you don't look like you need any vetting <laughs> <laughs> that's just me yeah. okay so then that was november ish where they got everything squared away and so they asked us when would you like to start and I'm thinking, gosh, we're really in good shape. We don't need to. <laughs> so we started in June, so it's been over a year. And if you want to know about our personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's a big part of that show. Okay. That's why all those people out there are going to be watching. They want to know about the personal trainer. <laughs> Poor guy. He's going to kill us. <laughs> no, there's a range of services, and they'll do maintenance for your, you know, housekeeping, whatever, whatever, whatever. Choices, well, options. So we opted for the personal trainer. So he comes once this is a week. part of the Arcadia program right. also. That's right. So he comes Terrific. once a week. We have in our family room our yoga mats. Yeah. And he puts us through paces. And they're not simple calisthenics. He brings equipment, dumbbells, elastic bands, balls, squeezing things. And then... But the main thing, too, besides the... You love it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we do. We do. And everybody's at Arcadia, when I tell them who our trainer is, he says, oh, isn't he handsome? <laughs> Covering my mic here. And then so, but he is really, really good. He comes once a week, and we've become friends. Yeah, so... Um, you know, and then, we're not in a class of 50. Right. There's just two of us. So he can custom make the activities for our particular needs. And then, yeah, and then, so he, you know, like I said, he puts us through our paces and he says, all right, we did this last week, we'll do this this week, right. and you so know. So he's taking you on a progression. Right. Yes, he does. And then you, and you practice uh, between visits. Right? Ah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you should practice. <laughs> we don't need to. <laughs> he's, he's really good. He really is. And he knows his knowledge. I mean, he's very knowledgeable because he's taking classes i mean he's constantly training himself he's got military good background. trainer good yeah. trainer so you would do this again you would do the arcadia program again Def right? definitely yeah and again we've been married 56 years but who's counting yeah. <laughs> okay we we've lived in um uh at our home for 43 years, years. Yeah. we've built a community in other words 
uh, friends. In the neighborhood. Yeah, and, and well, even larger than that. Mm -hmm. Because I was a professor, the students come back to visit. As a matter of fact, the Japanese students have given our home the name Most Famous Freeling Hotel and Restaurant. <laughs> What's that in Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> it must be because they all know it. But anyway, uh, we've got, we've literally got a community there, and now we've just simply expanded our community to the community of Arcadia. That's wonderful. Now, what about stairs? None. You know, well, did you know that you didn't want stairs at the outset? What, what if you had stairs? Would that change any of this? If, if, if they were in the house, that might be a, a problem. But then again, you could always get one of these... Um, yeah, you know, uh, elevator, elevator or things. escalator, whatever. And the uh, one going down to the uh, street are wide and... Cement steps, you know, cement yeah. steps. wide ones. Yeah. So uh, Emmett and Janelle yeah. mentioned uh, these uh, programs uh, where you go to Arcadia, participate in uh, social activities and the like. Or, or outside uh, on tours, I suppose. Um, do you participate in that? Do you go to those programs? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Really, not yet. Partly because we're still living the life that we lived before Arcadia, okay. Okay. with all the people and the activities. I mean, the, there's the Academy of Arts, and there's the the opera and the symphony, and uh, the theaters. The, the theater and the yeah, and the, and the wonderful library. Uh, that's there in, in Manoa Valley. Uh, also, too, the fire department is just a mile down the street. <laughs> okay. Safe we, we can get to Queen's Hospital by ambulance, and we have tested it uh, <laughs> in 10 minutes. I mean, all, all those... They're in a perfect situation. Exactly. And you've perfected it over 43 years. Exactly. So this is, this is um, well-polished, and <laughs> you, you don't need to change it. You don't want to change it unless you have to. That's right. So in your mind, you must know that there's a trigger somewhere here. You know, that there's going to be an event that takes place or yes. some evolution that takes place that's going to make you make the call to Janelle and say it's time for us to, or the survivor of us, to move into Arcadia. What do you see in that? What do you ideate? What is that event, episode, you know, evolution um, to get you to make that call? You must think about it. Well, it's, that's why I've been telling friends that I'm, the way I talk today is like, I'm good today, tomorrow something's going to happen. I mean, it's not going to be that way. It's going to be progressive. Of but course you could live to a thousand, yeah. too, <laughs> and be healthy the whole time. I try, anyway. <laughs> but, you know, having the trainer, that's another um, two sets of eyes that can see our progression because ah, he sees us good. every yeah. single so week. So he's watching, too. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yes. Okay, and he's your, your feedback. Your, right, right, yeah. Oh, that's really right, important. Right, right. And the other thing, too, is that because he sees us every single week, he can tell, and he can also tell Janelle that, you know, mm, we're noticing certain things, yeah. But Arcadia at home also evaluates us once a year. Yeah. Really? So we well, talk just, about that. What, what is that like? Well, you got to have a physical again every year, and um, they'll send someone to your home to see whether you need any upgrades or changes. We need ba um, bars in our bathroom, mm -hmm. but we don't have them yet. But you will. Yeah. You will. Because you're polishing, you're refining, you're, you're tuning this whole thing right. to, to meet your re requirements as you go forward. Yeah, and we may get rid of some of those little throw rugs. <laughs> Okay, are you making a note of that? <laughs> <laughs> Every day when I start to trip. <laughs> no, seriously. They, so we just feel this confidence. And so as we get worse, see, there's our, <laughs> I was going to say, on the, I'm oh, there we go. to the screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's not our house, but they'll do that for you, you know. It sounds like you do a lot of things. Um, and and then really there's a UH Foundation that has a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, UH is also a part of the support system, isn't exactly. it? Right, it is. Exactly. Yes. So, yes. Well, you guys like your situation, then. You, you like it from, well, from the point of view of UH being a, you know, a bit of a safety net. Right. Um, and you, you like it because it's the home you, you, you tuned and refined to meet your requirements. And because this was a good move, wasn't it, um, to get into the Arcadia program? Yeah, and also, where we live is not very far from where Arcadia is. So, uh, you know, it's like having a sort of a possible <laughs> second home down the street or 
Or if she doesn't want to cook some evening, we'll just dine at the club. Which is <laughs> the club is Arcadia. Arcadia. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. right. You know, the more we talk about this, the more things tumble out about it. Yeah. Well, you know, these benefits and, uh, and services they provide for you as, as part of this package, it's not very attractive. Where's the application? I mean, where's the application? <laughs> <laughs> <In my trunk. laughs> Thank you. And then they'll deliver food as you need it. And they told us also that if we wanted to have a party, we could, they'll set aside part of the dining room and we can have our guests come. So I don't know if you knew this, but she's really a party girl. Oh, she <laughs> is. <laughs> well, that's the other thing, too, is that because of our students and our commu community and all of that, we're, we still entertain a lot. So last Thanksgiving, we had 21 people. So I've been grandma over the hill to grandma's house for all these years. And Grandma's getting really old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds wonderful. Most excellent, as they say, yes. the Japanese yes, students. Indeed. I mean, most excellent yes. Yes. arrangement. So we are just, I, we can't, I don't know, I can't say enough for this Arcadia at Home program. Yeah, it, it just, you know, we we thought about moving into a, a residence. We even put a little down payment on On another place. <laughs> another place. Let me ask before we close, how old are you guys? She is. I know ladies don't like to talk. I'm about 81. That. 81. Okay. And I'll be 80 this November. Okay. Great to talk to you. Great to have you on the show. Well, what a great contribution to this whole discussion. Thank you. That's uh, Dr. Royal Freeling and uh, Mrs. Uh, Aurora Freeling, uh, who are not living in Arcadia, but who are in the Arcadia at Home program. Very valuable. Not Thank in so Arcadia, much. but of Arcadia. Of Arcadia. <laughs> Thank you. Well spoken. <laughs> Thank you. you guys. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's your picture. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was it.